Hello and welcome. In this short video I'm going to show you how to set up and configure WorkSoft to work with Panaya Dynamics. We have a native integration for our test execution and management within um, Panaya Dynamics. Inside of Management Studio, I have my integration tab. You can see here I have my Panaya integration. So what will happen is when you enable the APIs within Panaya, you will have a service URL, a system UID, username and password, a polling interval, and this is how often do we call from your Certify and WorkSoft in implementation out to the internet to Panaya to ask for work. You can pick a default um, BPP report that you want to be loaded into Panaya, and then where you want your results. So your first thing is to do is um, get your Panaya installation, um, enable your APIs, get your system URL and ID, username and password. The second thing is to go create several bookmarks which point to your driver tests. Um, so what you'll want to do is have tests that point to um, interesting things. So in my case, I have a project that um, does regressions on bike sales orders. And there's a lot of different processes. Whom. Some of these are, say, reusable sub-processes. Others of these are my end-to-end -end or my functional driver tests. So I've created a bookmark called Daily Order Processes and highlighted them. Okay, so I've saved this. And this is how we will integrate into Panaya. What happens is in Panaya, when we create um, a new test, we will then reference certifies projects, and those projects are basically your bookmarks. Okay? So if I come over here to my bike orders, I can see I have an existing bike order, which lists um, everything inside that folder. Okay? Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go create a new one to show I had this. I'll do add. Automation cycle, WorkSoft automation. I'll give it a nice name. Okay. So if I come to my sync settings, I'll add a new machine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to point to um, an API machine, in this case, um, and then um, save and synchronize. So what happens is I've basically come into Benaya and pointed to my management studio um, where I've got an API running in our execution manager product which knows how to interact with Panaya. So when I do the sync what happens is um, Panaya sends a sync request to management studio and says please provide a list of all your certified processes and then that's how they will show up inside of the tree. So if I refresh what I can see here is here's my bookmark name, Chris Demo Project, there's my processes and these are my four processes. And I have a couple options here. If I do a right click I can create a playlist and this will create a playlist for all the four processes. I could do a right click and create a playlist here of just this one process or I can do it from the list page. In this case I'm going to quickly create a playlist. I'm going to call this daily run so if I come to my playlist execution I can see I have a new daily run that is it's the status of not run. Okay. The other way you can create playlists is if you look at the list here, I can see all the, the tests that exist. I can see if they've run, and I can do a multi-select here and create a playlist. So I kind of did it the fastest way possible. My bookmark is associated with a set of driver tests that I want to run. Now if I open this up, what I'll see is these are the certified processes, those are our test names, and I can see that they're not run. So if I highlight this and I say that I want to run, what happens is I can say run all the tests in the, in the process. Okay, so I can see total number um, and I can rerun them and I can get more statuses. Okay. So the idea is I can have multiple playlists here. 
I've got ones that have run in the past, and then I can get statuses on them and if they've run. Now in this case, what I want to do is I actually want to go run this one. So when I do the run, what will happen is the processes will be um, queued up, Panaya will ask Worksoft to run them, and then we will run them through Execution Manager and provide back results. So the status of not run means it hasn't been run, or I've kicked it off to run, and it'll go from there. So what will happen is in Execution Manager, I will start seeing requests coming in here to run. So I can see my Panaya Playlist 1 is running now. It has all the processes. Some have started and completed. So if I do a refresh, what I'll see here is this one is started. The first test is passed and completed. The second one's running. If I look over into Worksoft, now if I look at one of my resource machines, I'll see this is the second kind of spy into the machine that's running. Every time I refresh, I can see the second process ran. So I have two that have run, two have not run. Um, so basically when the next ones will start running, what you'll see is I have execution time and I have evidence associated with these. So what we'll see is we'll get, this is our BPP report that comes back. So basically, as our processes run over here, um, Worksoft Execution Manager is doing the work. If I select my processes, and as they complete and execute, we'll see the results in Panaya. Okay. So this is kind of an administrator's view, so I can spy on what's happening. Um, you won't actually have to do this. What you'll do is just click Refresh. And um, every time we start a process, it becomes uh, moves from not running to in progress, and then um, as it completes, we'll get the status. Okay. So if I look at this change um, delivery, I can do a view, and this is the evidence tab. So what evidence does is we'll download a f the evidence. So I can see two things. The text file gives me the low-level details of what the certified process is, the database alias, the IDs to the process, and how long it took to run, the status is completed, and so forth. Now, the second gives you a, a link to actually go download the BPP report. So I click this, and now I can open it. And what we'll see here is I have my BPP report. So there's my demo process, my sales orders, and then I have all my documentation of the processes and the steps and the screenshots. So the core integration is you have a series of maybe unit, functional, end-to-end -end tests. Inside of Certify, you want to associate them with tests in Panaya, create your playlist, and then have them from Panaya run them, and then get the results back. Okay. So if I refresh again, I can see, okay, I have three that passed and one that's failed. So overall in my playlist, I have a failure here. Okay. I can do the same thing with the evidence. I can drill in, and this will give me the um, evidence and the link to my to download the PDF. And I can see that there's a failure in it, and I can find out the details on it. Um, I can actually scroll all the way to the bottom, and I'll find out what's happened is I have a, um, an app-bound delivery is not correct. Right. So the idea is we can actually get the full um, integration between the products by running. Panaya now becomes your system of record for all of your integrations, um, which is helpful for people who need to have that single point of truth of everything that's running. Okay. So just to recap, what I've done is I have Panaya set up. I have it enabled for API integration. And Worksoft of my management studio, which points to Panaya, and we set up our polar where we go ask Panaya for work. I have a bookmark that in turn points to my certified processes I want to make available for running. I then created my playlist, ran it, and then that in turn 
allowed it to run on Execution Manager. So even though Panay is in the cloud, the tests ran um, within my QA labs that I have set up, and the results are pushed back. So the nice thing is, from the Panay perspective, um, all of the um, integrations um, is very simple and it's all API based. You can see I, I kicked off a second clone of this one, so it's kicking off. If I come back to the highest level, I can see the processes that are there. If I come back to my project, I can see that I have my daily, daily bike regression and I have different number of tests that are passing and failing and ones that haven't run. So all of your core dashboarding is provided in Panaya to see the status of your um, automation. Thank you and have a great day.